This program is designed to give you an overview of watt hour meter operation and maintenance. Later on in your training, you'll be learning more about meter applications, components, testing, and installations. For now, though, let's begin with a look at how a watt hour meter is designed and how it works. For our purposes, we can say that a meter consists of six basic parts the cover, the retarding magnet, the register, the rotor assembly, the stator, and the base. The base is the housing that contains the other parts of the meter. It has terminals that are used to connect the meter to its operating voltage and to customer loads. In most cases, there's a glass or plastic cover placed around the base to protect the internal parts and still enable the meter to be read. The two most common types of meter bases are the A base, where the connecting terminals are at the bottom of the meter, and the S type, or socket type, where the terminals are located on the back side of the meter. The register is made up of the meter dials, which are connected to a set of gears. The register is the part of the meter that records the amount of electricity used. The rotor is the disc that you see here. When the meter is operating properly, the disc turns at a speed that is proportional to the amount of power used. The stator, or element, is a combination of several components inside the meter housing. To get a closer look at the element and to see how a watt-hour meter operates, let's look at the inside of a typical meter. This is a simplified illustration of a typical meter. Basically, a watt-hour meter is a small AC motor. In this meter, the stator consists of a laminated steel core, a voltage or potential coil, and a current coil. In operation, the rotor or disc turns in proportion to the amount of power being consumed. The number of times the disc turns is counted by the register, which is a set of gears that operates the meter dials.